Welcome back to the Core Cars News Tech Lab. Today we're going to be reviewing the Roku Express 4K, the most up-to-date model with it. We're going to be breaking down the pros and cons of this. How does this line up with other Rokus on the market? And a whole lot more. First, a few disclaimers. This was not a review unit. I did buy this with my own money. No one gets to see or approve our reviews no matter what before they go live on YouTube. Second, pricing on this changes so rapidly. I'll put a link to this on Amazon down below and on Roku with this also. So check that out. Lastly, if you're new here, could you do me a big favor before we get into the full review? Would you help me grow this channel? Will you help me support my family and everybody that works here? Just hit that subscribe button, hit that thumbs up, let YouTube know you enjoy what we do here. So YouTube recommends our videos to more people, helping me grow this channel, helping me support my family. So with that said, let's dive into this review, starting off with looking at everything that came with it. And it was a really nice setup with, for Broku. Has everything you need, including the remote batteries, which is something that doesn't always happen anymore. You have an HDMI cable, power cable. You even have a sticky pad that allows you to mount this directly to the TV. So you can have it mounted at the bottom, on the top, on the side. So it can just blend in natu naturally to your TV. Um, beyond that, it's got a very nice instructional book to easily walk you through setting up. Setup process was extremely easy, quick, and easy. I had no problems with it at all. And I love the new way that Roku does their setups where they send you an email with a link in it for you to click and go activate it. You enter your email address on the screen, it sends you a, a link and you follow the easy steps there. It really does remove the problem of trying to enter the website address and getting some type of scam website out there. So two thumbs up for Roku to be proactive in countering the scams that have been targeting Roku's owners out there. The remote is very nice. Now, the quick launch buttons, which are the buttons where you press it instantly launches an app, change all the time because companies buy these. These are basically ad bought paid advertisements. But mine came with Netflix, Disney Plus, Apple TV, and Paramount Plus. They may change, it can even depend on where you buy them. Sometimes different uh, places like Walmart have a special um, remote with different buttons on it. Beyond that, the remote's very nice, very easy to use. The, it comes with a wireless remote, which means you don't need line of sight, even though it does have the ability for line of sight, if for whatever reason it doesn't pair. It will um, work uh, wirelessly, so you don't have to be pointed at the TV. It has voice controls built into it, ability to control the volume, um, mute the TV, and a whole lot more. Let's take a look at the actual TV though. Remote's great, but the streaming player is what we're really here for. So let's take a look at this. Start off with, it's a standard Roku user interface. If you've been here before, you're uh, gonna be right at home. You can change the theme here, make it look different, but Roku's are really about just being super simple, super quick here. Let's dive into the live TV on the Roku channel. Oh, I thought I had this installed. There we go, that's how fast installing a, a Roku channel will happen. Um, and you can see here, this comes built in with your Roku, it's free. Tons of news here, tons of different features. I got weather on demand. You see here, I'm scrolling through this really quickly just by um, tapping it. You see how quickly and smoothly everything goes. So let's jump back to the home screen and well, let's use the quick launch button to get into Netflix to give you an idea how quickly Netflix will load. Hey, even though I was in a different app, it remembered where I was on this. Let's hit play and see how quickly it loads up the TV show here with this. As you can see, very quick, very easy. I'm gonna stop that so I don't get any copyright complaints with me. Um, let's go back to the home screen, there we go. As you can see, very smooth, very quick ability here to jump around. A few things with this compared to the 4K uh, Roku stick. Now, the Roku stick is, I think, nice in the way that it mounts behind the TV. You don't have to have this box maybe mounted there wherever it may be. Uh, be, but with this adhesive sticky pad to mount this to the TV, I don't think that's a big problem. The 4K Roku stick does have a slightly better Wi-Fi antenna in it, does have a slightly better processor in it. But honestly, as you can see here, when I'm jumping around, loading Netflix and stuff, it's very quick, very responsive. I have no problems getting into what I wanna get into, watch what I wanna watch. I don't think you're gonna be unhappy with the quality of the speed of the Wi-Fi reception. Now I do think though that the slightly more expensive Roku Stick 4K is more powerful, especially in the realm of when the TV's off, I'm powering this off the USB on the TV. When the TV's off and it turns on and it reboots the Roku, the 4K Roku Stick definitely boots a lot faster than the um, Essential 4K here. Now it's important to remember though that um, that's not a big deal if you plug it into the wall. 
it'll always be on. It'll go into a sleep mode and never fully shut off, removing the need to worry a lot about rebooting. Overall, I don't think you're going to go wrong with this. I do recommend this over the HD standard version that's a little cheaper. Um, even if you don't own a 4K TV now, buying a 4K player, if you are buying it for just a few more dollars, will help you future-proof so that when you get that 4K TV next time you buy a TV, it's very hard to find non-4K TVs today, even at very affordable budget rates, uh, especially if you go into the 45 or higher range of TVs. Um, hey, you already have a 4K streamer. You're not gonna go buy one again if you get a new TV. So overall, I'm very happy with this. Fast, easy setup, great remote, huge library of apps and streaming services here. Let's jump into the streaming channels. So streaming channels are what they call all their different apps. And you can see here, tons of big name uh, ones out here and tons of small ones that you may not have heard of. I mean, Apple Music's on here, Apple TV, CNN, whole bunch of great content out here for you to be able to add with it. Now, buying your Roku does mean you still need to subscribe to this. Just because you own a Roku doesn't give you Sling TV. Think of Roku as your mobile phone. You add apps to your mobile phone, but you still may need to, need to subscribe to them. But there are a lot of things that are free, and Live TV and the Roku channel, Pluto TV, and more are great examples of that, where you have a huge collection of free content here. You know, as you can see here, just tons of content for you to watch. We're in the kids section here, B BBC Kids and more. They have news, sports, weather, drama, all kinds of stuff. Here's a 24 seven unsolved mystery channel and more, 100% free with ads. If you're not checking out free ad supported services, you really should. But yeah, you can see very easy to jump around in this. So there you go, two thumbs up. If you're looking for a streaming player that'll help you be future proof, with the ability to know if you get a new TV that's 4K, you're not going to need a new streaming player. This is great. If you're looking for a budget end, this is awesome. It definitely doesn't have the features of the Roku Ultra, but um, for most people, I think running on Wi-Fi is just fine. And I think this will be more than powerful enough for what you want to do if all you're looking to do is stream Netflix, Hulu, Amazon, YouTube TV, Sling TV, Hulu with Live, etc. I don't think you're going to be upset with this at all. So I'll put a link to this in the show notes down below and in the first pinned comment. You can find it down there. If you're looking for it on Amazon, leave us a comment. Let us know. We'll love to hear from you. If you're new here to the channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Hit that thumbs up. We, we would really appreciate it. It's a huge help to us because it lets YouTube know you enjoy what we do here. So YouTube recommends our videos to more people, helping us grow this channel, helping us support our families. So until next time, take care, be safe. Leave us a comment. Let us know if you use the Roku We'd we'll love to know what you think of it, and hopefully we can help you break free from the high-cost cable TV, but still watch the shows you enjoy.